people, stop what you're doing. Welcome back to this week's Rumors, 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 my once a week segment where we take the latest and greatest celebrity hip hop rumors trend on social media. And we have a little fun with it. Keep in mind, everything is all legend. If you missed last week, go check out that playlist. Let's jump straight into this week's Rumors, Rumors, Rumors. What up, Andy Appleseed? Y'all know who the trending topic is, man. In the midst of Rich Homie Quan getting laid to rest, D-Wade was somewhere painting his toes. And I was actually working on the rumors. Rumors, rumors, rumors has it, P. Diddy is officially finished. Now this man was actually indicted for sex trafficking, racketeering, kidnapping, prostitution, illegal narcotics, arsenal, and they even found the freak off tapes. But the nastiest part of this whole indictment? was that thousand bottles of lube. Come on, Pete Diddler. Allegedly, he was at sex parties on limp, standing at the corner, watching the male sex workers do the plumbing. But after all the jokes, it was a bittersweet moment just to see that this guy actually is now facing a life-term sentence, minimum of 15 years. Most of these charges stem from the Cassie incident, along with Little Rod, who claimed that he was actually the guy who recruited sex workers while he was out wearing that bad boy hat. Meanwhile, his sons can't stop partying. We all saw the images. Justin was out all night. Diddy was surfing the city. Allegedly, he knew this indictment was coming. This might be bigger than the OJ case. Rumors, rumors, rumors. Watch this. Who was that? So did Diddy try to kill you? Pray for the young people. You know what this is. It's not a game. And please understand very clearly, there is zero Wusa moments. Me talking about situations for over more than a decade and a half. And then all of a sudden, everybody woke up like, whoa, yo, we thought you were crazy. Yeah, I am crazy. All those in London that don't know what happens to the white man when he comes to a P. Diddy party. Matt, move out of the way. You're still alive. Look at that. DJs aren't supposed to pass out, but when they come to one of my parties, this is what happens to them. I don't know what's going on. Next person asks me if I've been to one of them parties, I'm gonna slap the shit out you. They don't like my kind at them parties. This is not the time to go off killing yourself, taking no medicine, drinking no bleach, eating no mother poisonous candy and all that, blowing your mother brains out. You know what you did? Go ahead and face the consequences. For, all, for those of y'all that are grown adults, we don't care who you laid down and had sex with, this gonna get exposed right now. This is a good time to come out the closet. But what confuses me is, a thousand bottles of baby oil and lubricant? They charge him with the Rico? Hmm. My entire life was altered by this person. I can't, I'm not going to stop. I am watching this like a TV show. This man deserves everything. I wonder what them boys had to do for that check. He touched the Wee Wee Kelly? Come on, man. No, man. Y'all ain't finna tell me. This predator. Ain't prey on y'all. He's so friendly. Yeah, daddy. And uh, come on, man. He ain't giving up little low means without something, man. Y'all heard what he did to Jaw? Busted his back wide open. You heard? What? I'm starting. To, I, all those stories are true. I'm gonna say it like this. I don't like that man, but I'm from God. I love his kids. He did a phenomenal job raising, raising his kids, man. And because he did everything to make sure that they wasn't like him. His lawyer's full of. Sh yeah, Honeycomb thought he was going to be able to come home from the, for the holiday. That's what Jaguar called him. But he not. They denied him. I feel bad for these goddamn kids. And even his mother, who adores that boy. I know another scoop, too, that I found out. Since I've been here in New York, and I have to do with um, the case, but I can't say nothing about that neither. Uber baby, but I found out something yesterday. One person who's trying to avoid that Rico shout out goes out to my man Bobby Smurder. Did y'all see that clip when he actually kicked out the two big booty snow buddies for allegedly trying to charge him? Rumors, rumors, rumors has it Bobby said, hold on. When he comes down to paying for that cat, he's not with it. He's only messing with groupies who love him. Let's get into this lie about Bobby. Get your out of here. Get your out of here. 
First of all, the girl will grab up on my khaki and see what I go on. I say, blood, cow, I'm here, see? So, boom, I come back home. The girl will take off her clothes and things like that. Be a TV and ass, and I just jump around and run around, right? So, the girl will say, oh, I call two more again. I say, blood, man! Yo! And he's got to be careful when you come to my game. They coming for the money! They trying to get the pivot! So, boom, long story short, I'm climbing on the wall, going to take the I'm trying to like, what the I see four of them, girl. I see four of them come through. I say, yeah? Like vampires, all my playing pimps be on point. They coming in fours. They coming in fours, running around the whole big butt naked. See these jumping, surrounding me. You run. I'm like, so which I which I think I'm gonna give y'all for what? A thousand each, five hundred each, a hundred each. What do y'all think this was? For a hundred, two hundred dollars? Are you serious? I even if it's five k, I don't care what price you got on it. I don't want the what's this up. <laughs> Love goes out to Sexy Red. She's always getting ridiculed. They want to see how I get ready. Do they want to see this part? I don't know. <coughs> Y'all want to see my missing too? Don't show me. Don't show them. Yeah, you're going to lose fans. <laughs> it's all still going to be my fans. <laughs> but did y'all see that live stream moment where she was actually bleeding and jumped in the pool after? I did. Rumors, rumors, rumors has it this moment was kind of crazy. Let's jump straight into it. Love you, sexy. My mom's going to kill you. What's up, one? Huh? What? How my what? Leg bleeding. Did y'all hear what she just said? She said, how the f my leg bleeding? I'm not bleeding on the leg. Tell my wife, period. You nasty with it. Show my dress. Why in the f I'm going to end this live. Show this in this blood. I'm not showing them that nasty. Ooh, that's probably why I'm finna pass the Come on, here you go. If y'all wanna um see what we finna do, y'all might wanna stay tuned. <coughs> Come on. Come on. I ain't gonna lie, I just had to spit on this floor. Now I know Tyrese is highly emotional. He's going through a divorce. He melts down on social media every three weeks. But him being his kids is just crazy. I never heard that in my life. Tyrese actually jumped on live. And he said his ex-wife, Samantha, was claiming he put hands on his kid. Back in 2017, when my ex accused me of child abuse. What? Because I spanked my daughter for the second time. My ex was granted a restraining order. And I could not see or have access or communicate with my daughter for a hundred days. And this is a woman, female judge. And she ultimately said that whether it's true or not, let me do what I got to do to shut down all communication and access from this man, from this father who is potentially abusing this child, which I never was. Spanked her with my right hand directly on top of her butt, on top of her pants. Now on day one, everybody was laughing after Shannon was caught on that live. But day two, social media investigators started dissecting it, enhancing the audio on it. A lot of people think this was actually fake. But Cameron had a few words about the situation. He reacted. If you missed it, let's jump straight into this. Rumors, rumors, rumors. Y'all think that was real? It just sent me a video of Shitty Shark. <laughs> Bunny rapping on it. Small Dean. Like a basketball bounce. Uh The fact that there's no AC in my grandma's house is torture. I'm dying. <laughs> I'm dying. But in the midst of Cardi B's divorce, it seems like Nicki Minaj took the time out to jump on live with her husband, Kenneth Petty. Una chica mala, and I kick and scream in a big collar. They try to get your fans to come hot. Get boy out. No, you know when you start speaking that shit. No, I don't know. I don't know about While on live, a troll jumped in and actually said to Nikki, can you make it clap? But just judging from Kenny's response to the situation, it looks like Nikki's trying to keep him under control. He might snap at any moment. Y'all know how it is, ladies. You know when he dating a killer, gorilla. It is what it is. Rumors, rumors, rumors. So, um, does it clap? Do you want to get clapped? Watch your mouth. 
Kazoo. Yes. Now, I want to thank you very much for watching. It's your boy Andy Appleseed. Andy Appleseed TV is the name of the channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe, drop me a comment. We got the latest and greatest hip hop news commentary by your boy Andy Appleseed. It's going down. Live stream edits, you name it. Hit that like, catch me in the next video. Peace.